What's going on guys? It's your boy Fox back in the house with another reaction for Unordinary. This is chapter one, actually episode 160, chapter number 166, but who cares? So at the end of the last chapter, uh, John pretty much told Cecile like, look, I run this joint. Uh, you ain't got no say so. I didn't need you in the first place. Made me upset. I'm like, cause one John is really going just pure stupid. And I'm like, he jacked up Cecile. I'm like, don't jack up Cecile. And also, Arlo got pissed off and everything. But, you know, that's to be expected. Arlo gets upset at a lot of things, honestly. Video on him sometime soon. And the rest of the cast. I don't know when. I don't make, I don't, I don't plan these things out. But, let's jump straight into it, 160. I want to see what is going on. Let's see, we're at the boys' dorms. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that's going to be awkward. Sleeping to the guy that just... Pretty much, they put you in the hospital. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I I'll be nervous too, bro. Uh oh. <laughs> uh. What are you doing here? I live here. <laughs> what are you talking? Wait, what do you mean? I live here. <laughs> I'm just here to pick up my stuff. I'll leave right after. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Can we just go back to? There's something that just really, this should tell you a lot about how care, how little care John has. Where is that? No, that right there, that face. It's like, I, that's almost like, what, what did I do to you again? Like I beat up so many people that I just can't even keep track anymore. <laughs> like that face right there is like, I have, like, yo, what's up? You good? Why are you here? Like, you know, you need some help, bro. <laughs> That's, that is zero Fs given right there. I'm depressed. <laughs> Jumping straight into the chapter. Yeah, where is he at? Oh, so he went to go stay at Eisen's uh, room. Hey. Oh, hey, you got here sooner than I expected. Claus is that way. You can make your... You can make your bed in there. <laughs> don't, don't be a dick right now, dude. Okay. Ooh. What? No retort? I'm shocked. Hold on a second. What are you doing? Huh? You told me to sleep in here. I obviously didn't mean it, stupid. Where's your usual response, fuck off, asshole? Oh. <laughs> that's, that's not what I meant, bro. What's gotten into you, dude? I, I, like, I literally had my pride and my spirit crushed in front of the entire school. This was this was wrong. Hey, don't don't take it so hard. Sure you can. <laughs> Eisen has a way with words. It's just perfect. <laughs> sure you got your ass whooped, but so did I, and so did Remy, even Arlo. So don't feel bad. John, J John's just stronger than all of us. <laughs> you aren't bothered by that because I can't stop thinking about all the shit that he's done. Yep, I remember that. Yep. <laughs> How he brutalized my friends and <laughs> and went as far as to send Remy and me to the hospital. He got nothing. A moment ago when I stood to face him after returning from recovery, he didn't even bat an eye. He tossed me out the room as if I were a piece of garbage. <laughs> well, in, in his eyes, you all are considered garbage. But also, like I said, like I was like John's face is like like all oh, like I feel kind of bad for the dead. He he's like no, I don't even I I feel like literally nothing towards you at all. It's like what those it's like what evil people say like when they're uh, ranting to the air like do you do you care when you step on an ant? That type of you know that type of spiel we get it you know get that in all every uh, villain monologue and all that mess. So that's how I felt with John in his face. His face pretty much said like do you feel bad when you throw a piece of paper in the garbage? Do you stop to look at the ant that you crushed on the streets? No, you don't. You just simply keep about your day. <laughs> John is pure savage, but his savagery has gone so much to his head that it's turned him into an idiot. <laughs> I got a video on John's mental state coming up. 
There was no remorse. It was so humili humiliating. I've never felt this worthless before. Look, man, that's how life goes. We pissed off someone stronger than us, and we were punished for it. It's that simple. Don't be salty. You just... You, you just aren't used to being on the losing end. Uh, that, that's a lie. But also, no, I, get, I do get what um, Blake is saying. But also, I get what uh, Eisen is saying. But that is, that's not good thinking at all. Just because someone is stronger than you, that gives them the right to just do whatever they want. And that means, you know, sending you and your friends to the hospital. Like, no, bro. It's like, you... Like I said, I don't condone what John did. I just I just understand the reasoning behind it. And you know, like I said, there are there are plenty of other ways to go about it and everything, but you know, it, but it, it's I don't want to call Eisen out like that. Like Eisen is just really Eisen just wants to keep peace. He's like whatever keeps the peace, I'm down for. But sometimes keeping the peace isn't what's right. That, that's a whole other story. Let's get on. Huh? Hey, I've lost plenty before, exactly. During turf wars, during ranked fights, to Arlo, to Remy, to Cecile, even to you. I don't have a problem with losing. My issue is is with John, is there's something seriously wrong with the way he functions. And if he can take us all down easily, then what's uh, supposed to, uh, to check him? What happens if he takes things even further? Who stops him? It won't... It won't be me, that's for sure. Let's not think about this anymore. So yeah, Eisen is just all about like, look man, I just want to keep my head down. I want to live as normal as I can. Just let's leave it alone. And like I said, that's not always the right thing to do. All right, time for bed. <laughs> Wait, and Blake is like, I was talking, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Stop. Ooh, that's a, that's a cruel nightmare. Ugh. Yeah, they're done. And no. Yep, wake up from that. That's a that's a that's a terrible nightmare right there, sir. After I'm gone, you'll be the strongest male in the school. <sighs> Lies. As long as you continue to grow your ability, others will naturally follow you. <laughs> Boy. I need to get stronger. Apparently, Arlo is the one holding everything together. Oh, look at you. You got eight babes. To, you practice on your thumbs. You can do just like John. Once he graduates, I won't have him to depend on anymore. Someone else will have to stand against John. Bro, things are going to escalate so, so much, and it's going to be so glorious. But right now, I'm still too weak to do anything. Train. Get stronger. <laughs> They're back in school. Hey, they're back. Joker hospitalized Remy and Blake, remember? <laughs> All right, at least they're okay. So what now? Are you still supposed to call Blake? Are we still supposed to call Blake our Jack or is he no longer a royal? Uh, no idea, but I, I assume he's demoted. I can hear you, stupid. <laughs> sorry, so sorry to learn me. Having a bad day. The fight happened last week. This should be old news. No? It's one thing if one of you get beaten. It's another thing if all of you get beaten at the same exact time by one person. Actually, funny story. The whole uh, Joker thing kind of uh, started a chain reaction. So now there are multiple mass students running around attacking people. What? That's awful. Why didn't you tell us earlier? Well, I wanted to give you both a peaceful recovery. Anyway, the frauds are pretty ballsy. They had the gall to attack some elites, and Lane was one of them, in fact. So students are using Joker's name to ext ex extract revenge on those who've wronged them. It's, it's perfect for them because they get to stay anonymous. There isn't even a way to hold these guys accountable. But isn't this the opposite of what John was trying to accomplish? Huh? He wanted to stop violence through fear, but instead he's give, gave rise to all these fake jokers who are out for blood. Yeah, I guess he didn't really think things through. So what? Well, we can assume that there are more enemies you've made in Wellston than more, uh, than more attackers you'll have. Who would be a popular target? 
Seraphine. No, no, no. Stop. <laughs> Seraphina. So I tried taking so I tried taking uh, notes the way you showed me, and I think it really helped. That's good. I feel like Evie <laughs> Even saying no, no, I feel like I can uh, process the information way better now. Hmm. Bro, you're throwing fuel on the fire, <laughs> and I'm upset. I know Seraphina's gonna be able to handle her own, handle her own. Well, actually, I don't know because we don't know who's under the mask. We know it's not John. It's a fake, but we don't know what this uh, this fake's power level is. And this is obviously a different one. Uh, Cause this person has on you know their school jacket and everything, so that's different from the one that attacked Elaine. Uh, well, that what it seems like to me, at least. But um, yeah, this, yeah, John's plan is definitely. I, you know what? I don't even think it's backfired. I just don't think he just cares anymore. I think his whole plan has been abandoned for the simple fact that Serafina right now is not talking to him, and he's really just trying to figure out uh, a way to get her back on his side. And until that happens. Nothing else matters. And honestly, I think it was probably that way from the start. He was just like, look, I'm just going to break the high. I'm just going to break the royals and I'm just going to go about my day. <laughs> like, whatever happens, happens. He's like, I can handle myself. And then if something happens to Sarah, I'll go handle it. That was probably his line of thinking. Uh, probably not, probably unbeknownst to him. Maybe like a subconscious thing. But, I mean, you know, like John's mental state is really really interesting i got a video on that i was gonna make a video before uh all this stuff with the holidays and getting new carpet and stuff came in came up but yeah I'm, that video is gonna be coming up so be on the lookout for that uh make sure you like this video uh you know let's try and get this video to 30 likes y'all have been crushing and also if you want to be shouted out all you gotta do is share this video on twitter and then tag me on it and then i'll shout you right on the end of my next unordinary video but guys, do the stuff that I normally tell you to do. Comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications and everything. And it's the boy Fox.